Alright guys, so uh, we're going to be looking at how to do the bind procedure for the RD, R9D and the Radiolink 89. So these are both Radiolink products and uh, we'll see how we get that all, all bound up. And um, yeah, I'll show you the whole procedure here. And uh, I'm going to pass the camera over to my uh, assistant and he's going to film what I tell him to. So, we're going to start off over here with the AT9. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and wait for it to boot up. And then once it comes up, we're going to come over here to the RD, R9D, Radiolink R9D. On the side of the R9D, you have a little small hole. Inside of there is a, is a button. Yeah, yeah, on the R9D there, bud. Right there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to push in that little we're going to push a little screwdriver or in my case uh, the five millimeter allen wrench that I used and uh, cover it up here but what we'll do is we'll just push it in and then we will um, push put power to the device and what you'll see is you'll see the R9D has a flashing red light on it in there and now it's solid meaning that it's uh, got bound to the radio and we can look over here at the radio and you see yep it is definitely definitely bound so now we're good to go and uh, if you're like me and you're running SBUS what you'll need to do is double press that button and it will go blue or a purplish color and that means we're now running an SBUS. To change it back from SBUS to regular mode, you'll just double touch it and it switches back to red. Okay, so that's how you uh, bind the Radiolink AT9 to the R9D. So check it out, I think you'll like it.